Okay. Hello everyone. So my name is Kevin. I'm a Vietnamese. I'm a just, I just come to Singapore about some months ago and uh, got a job for two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Can you kick? Can you hear me? Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, first thing I. Wow. Hello. Okay, first. Hello. Okay. Uh, first thing I want. Shut up the mic on your PC, your laptop. Hello. So, first thing I want to say thank to Winston for introducing me to Sam. Yeah, so I get the first job because of him and I can stand there to and talk with you guys. So, thank you. <laughs> okay, so today I want to share my uh, experience in uh, working with the decorator button in Ruby. And uh, this, uh, the three points I want to talk. First is why, why we use decorator. Second is how, and the third one is when we suit you. So, I believe the business logic is the root of the ugly code. That's because uh, your, in the beginning, your class will be very simple and uh, easy to read with a very few minimum uh, public interface. So, yeah, so easy to write and easy to test. But uh, time by time, does the business logic come and and you must ask a lot of a ton of uh, business logic into your code and it look heavy and mess up everything. So, uh, Ray already support us for some like some uh, some 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 convention to help you uh, implement the code to to soften the matters, but. Um, there's a, another way to enhance the object easily without mess up everything in your class. You see a decorator pattern. Um, first, I want to uh, give you yeah, um, a symbol about how we mess up the, the class with the business music. Uh, this is a hero in the game Dota 2. Um, I should let you guys know, 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 know her. Uh, this hero has four skills. Um, here, a frost arrow, gust, reset, aura, and weapon shift. And from just for skill, basic skill here, without the support item, uh, they can, she can generate some kind of attack, like the normal attack without a skill, and a frost arrow attack, gust, and they can combine the normal attack with the reset, aura, and something more, maybe three, three skill together. Yeah, and how we implement these kind of attack in our class is two way. First, you push every kind of attack to a method like this. So yeah, then stand up methods. Uh, the, the maximum method will be high power n minus one, right? The totally success of a uh, force cube. Right. Okay, another way is you use the subclass. So every combining Combining up skill, you create a new class. So, the, so we in this case we can use the same methods for every class. So, plan like attack. You also you can create a new object and call attack. It's, yeah, but it's still a lot of code, a lot of thing you must do. So, yeah, because it's too many methods or too many subclass. So it's very hard to you to remember the exactly the methods or the class name, and like if you want to change the skill, how how many things you need to change to to, to to fix the new code, the new skill, or you want to add a new skill, so you need to create a lot of function or a lot of subclass to to combine everything. Yeah. So with the decorator button, 
This, this is the original glass. We just have um, uh, a, a metals name attack, and we create uh, a tag decorator with a metals. Not please notice the same the same metals name, and and then we uh, we create some decorator that inherits the original attack decorator, and then we implement the attack in in a different way. But this uh, notify the hero object here. We call the attack. This came from the original class called this, this one. Okay. So yeah. So yeah. So how do we you can using it? We can uh, initialize uh, a hero contrast yes, here, and we call the attack methods. Or oh, we want to uh, we want the the process hero create a um, um, cross error attack. So we can call cross error decorator new with the hero object that we pass in you know, over there, and we call attack. Or oh, we want to combine three three kind of attack together. So we call my and ship decorator of new transient cross error. We see the, the object here. We see also the decorator. So like for the general uh, decorator uses like this. First decorator new. Second decorator uh, new. Not third decorator not new. For the for decorator not new. And finally the object and maybe more. So, in this case, you you use the same methods for every decorator. It's, it's good because like uh, you don't need to write a lot, and uh, and, and the, the, the user that's you your decorator um, can 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 save time to remember every methods, uh, and you can keep the original class simple, very simple, clean, and beautiful, easy to test, and easy to add new feature like create a new decorator to for for the new skill of attack but you need to keep the interface very simple because like if if if, if it's a little bit complicated so every other decorator will, will be passed a lot of uh, parameters so it's not good and because you because you pass the the object to a lot of decorator like that so maybe this will be a lot of uh, memory extra using yeah. So, so it will hurt a little bit to the performance. And another thing is, it's not easy to test it. If some, if some other developer using uh, writing some code like this, so we must like mock every object here to for for, for processing for writing aspect. So last thing is when we are using it. Uh, it's big. First, uh, when the class have a uh, similar methods like 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 the hero uh, class for for the first symbol I give you, and second is like for the box data. So because like we use the same result data for every uh, for for the box, but we must create a different kind of box for uh, like self or HR finance. Uh, but the like is. It's very similarly, so you can use the decorator. Another thing is the dropper gem brush. I think most of you know this already. And uh, because of the concept of the decorator, is that you decorate a method, you extend a behavior. So um, it's not just the class decorator, it's just not class, but also the methods. Here is some like others, alias. Methods and alias method chain but support by, by active support and the delegates in empty uh, record model is also using the decorator. Okay, so this uh, is my reference and thank you for listening. Any question? Mm. Okay. Okay, well, if you think of any later, you can be here afterwards. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thanks again. Um